like this variation of a plank. It's um, really, really useful for people who also have sore wrists. You will get some upper body workout and you probably feel it a little bit in your glutes as well. So feel free to join in in your own time, making sure you feel really comfortable as you do this. So you're gonna have a lie down on your stomach. Maybe watch this a few times if you've never done this before, because people often, I'll show you what people do wrong before we start the exercise, people often come up into Cobra. Now this isn't this exercise, we're doing a modified plank. So my hands are relatively underneath my shoulders. My head and neck are nice and long. If you want, you can put your little pads underneath your forehead if you feel comfortable with that. I'm going to imagine that my shoulder blades are drawing down because I'm trying not to have my shoulders up by my ears. My knees and my feet stay on the mat the whole time. I'm going to take a breath in and engage that inner core, tuck my pelvis under into neutral, and I'm just going to crop up into this plank. And as I'm here, I'm just going to start with some leg curls. We're going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, and then I'm going to just lower back down, making sure you're comfortable, readjusting any position that you need. I'm going to draw those shoulders down, we're going to take a breath in and engage that core. We're going to just pop up, we're going to do another round, ten, long through the head and neck, Try not to rock. Good, keep going, keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. And down. Wiggling the wrists and hands, just coming up having a little stretch, freeing up the arms, and then coming back to have a lie down. So if you felt that that was challenging enough, please can you continue with those um, bends. So the little heel to the bottom, making sure you're nice and comfortable and neutral in your spot. So the next variation. So we're going to see if we can extend the leg. So it's, it is quite a lot harder. It's quite a big jump. So if there's any discomfort, just come back to the previous level. So taking that breath in, engage the core, drawing the shoulders down, breathing out. And lift. And lift. And lift. And lift. Just coming a bit more centered and lift. Breathing out. Breathing out. Breathing out. Breathing out. Breathing out. Breathing out. One more round. And lower. And breathe. Wiggling the wrists. Taking a moment. Once again, I always encourage my classes, stretch as you need, stretch as you need. And we're going to do one more round of that. So, again, having a lie down. I have a tendency to wiggle, wiggle off this mat a little bit, so you'll sometimes see me kind of shimmying back up. Tuck that tailbone under, draw the shoulders down and away, taking a breath in, engaging the core, breathing out and hovering, breathing in to hold, breathing out, breathing in, change. Keep going, long through the head and the neck. 
keep going. Working hard. One more round. And down. And rest. Coming back up. Stretching as you feel comfortable. Okay, well done.